Well, welcome to Faithful Fathering's podcast. My name is Rick Wirtz, uh, founder and president of Faithful Fathering, where we encourage and equip dads to be faithful fathers, dads that prioritize physical presence, are engaged emotionally, and lead spiritually by example. Our vision is to see dads engaged in raising a godly generation and to see the church reinvigorated on the fathering front. On this podcast, uh, we're going to be discussing uh, confusion or clarity. Uh, there's, there's, uh, there's a lot going on in the world that, uh, that has us, uh, navigating through this world in somewhat of a confused state on occasion, particularly the younger generation. But, uh, first I want to, uh, just say, uh, uh, I'm coming out of, uh, my favorite month, the month of Father's Day, and I pray that you guys all enjoyed a, a, a wonderful Father's Day. I was blessed myself to be in the mountains. We do our uh, summer trips uh, uh, with fathers and daughters and fathers and sons on a backpacking trip. And uh, in that process, I'm blessed to have the time with my son, who uh, takes a week's vacation to join me, help me with the father-son backpacking trip, and with my daughter. To, she takes vacation to come and work with the daughters and work uh, with me on the father-daughter hiking trip. But uh, now we enter into this uh, month of July, where we celebrate freedom in this uh, great nation, this one nation under God. And uh, freedom is easy to take for granted. And uh, as we uh, look at this podcast, I look at confusion around uh, how we look at freedom. Is freedom absolute? Well, absolute freedom is absolute anarchy. <laughs> but uh, you've heard the old adage that uh, freedom is not free. And that certainly is the case in our history that over one million uh, soldiers have given their lives for the sake of this American ideal where we would... Uh, uh, defend freedom as we uh, as we define it here in America. The freedom per the Declaration of Independence is grounded in the concept. Uh, this is from the Declaration that uh, they are they're, the concept of truths to be self evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights. That among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. You know, while this sound doctrine uh, uh, is is uh, is, uh, is normal for us because of our history, you know, as we grew up in the United States, we embraced this. But in its day, it was a radical form of government that uh, we would actually trust the you know a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. And uh, the the founders were so committed to this that in the Declaration, the last sentence of the Declaration, they said this, that, uh, and for the support of this Declaration with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, we mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. You know, with that final sentence and uh, 56 signatories, the Second Continental Congress unanimously declared independence from England uh, 245 years ago. Representatives from the 13 colonies determined that separation from England was worth their lives, their fortunes, and their sacred honor. You know, that is a commitment that's hard to uh, conceive today. You know, when we take so many freedoms for granted, we, uh, it's easy to overlook the commitment that uh, was required for this nation to become uh, what they declared as one nation under God. And uh, so we tend to take these uh, freedoms for granted. And uh, it's so important as dads to uh, communicate. You know, that's one neat thing about uh, this time of uh, during COVID. I've heard many stories of families reading the Declaration of Independence together, of uh, reading the Constitution of these United States, providing a little bit more history maybe than, uh, than the schools have uh, necessarily uh, uh, taken on or uh, or with all that's going on in schools, maybe it gets brushed over a little bit. But it's up to us dads and families to emphasize some of the founding principles that uh, that have, have taken us this far as a nation, one of the, the most powerful and uh, certainly the freest nation in the world. In his article, uh, Perspectives on the Constitution, A Republic If You Can Keep It, 
Dr. Richard Beeman references Benjamin Franklin's response to a question from a group of citizens on what type of government had been created by the Constitutional uh, Convention back in 1787. He responded, it's a, it's a republic if you can keep it. Uh, Dr. Beeman uh, said the brevity of that response should not cause us to undervalue its essential meaning, that democratic republics are not merely founded upon the consent of the people. Uh, a republic is absolutely dependent upon the active and informed involvement of the people for their continued good health. The health of the American way of life depends on the active and informed involvement of moms and dads in raising a godly generation. You know, uh, there are a lot of challenges dads and moms face uh, in practicing this active and uh, informed involvement. There's uh, busyness, there's uh, misplaced priorities, uh, you know, with... Uh, Many times, both parents uh, working away from the home, the, uh, uh, if there was time, there's no energy to be active <laughs> and uh, uh, informed in, in the way we're involved in our government and in the way we educate our children on the grounding principles of our nation. Uh, we've, uh, and I personally am guilty of abdicating this responsibility to the schools and the churches. And then we turn around and we see things like the 1619 Project and critical race theory being promoted in our schools. So as dads, we have to take responsibility that uh, these things are happening on our watch and uh, we have to ground our families in this. So that's my charge to you over this uh, uh, month of celebrating our freedom as, as a nation, that uh, you would step into that responsibility. You know, there are challenges on the spiritual front as well. Paul warned Timothy uh, that uh, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but wanting to have their ears tickled, they will accumulate uh, for themselves teachers in accordance with their own desires and will turn aside to myths, but you are to be sober in all things, to endure hardship, do the work of an evangelist to fulfill your ministry." Of course, as dads, our primary ministry is our family. So our charge is to uh, uh, take on the charge that Paul gave Timothy as he passed the baton to the next generation. That attacks would come in the form of eloquent teachers uh, telling people that uh, what they wanted to hear, but Timothy was charged to preach the good news of Jesus the Christ in the face of opposition. So uh, Paul and Timothy were free in Christ, but uh, that wasn't necessarily the freedom that people wanted in that day. They wanted freedom from Roman rule, and here Jesus came in and freed them from their own sin. Uh, so that's a, a different perspective for us to operate in, that uh, freedom is not free, freedom is not absolute. There are boundaries that we have to operate in, and uh, that's, uh, that's a challenge when we, uh, when we face some of the things that uh, media and other uh, sources are, are uh, using to influence our kids and distract them from what freedom truly is in Christ and in this nation. So again, freedom is not free, and freedom does not exist without boundaries. Over the past year, I've uh, heard a, a number of families, like I said, uh, uh, having discussions about our nation's history, having discussions about uh, around spiritual topics that they wouldn't have had otherwise. Uh, so as, I, as you uh, stir up family discussions around that history, uh, many uh, that have never been broached, you'll find that uh, there's some fantastic dialogue that the family can benefit from. So I encourage you to read the Bible as a family, read that Declaration of Independence, read the Constitution of these United States, and instill in your kids a love of God and of country. So uh, an accurate history helps us understand not only where we came from, it helps us embrace where we are and uh, equips a generation to uh, accept responsibility for building on the foundation provided by the Founding Fathers and by our Heavenly Father. So, you know, there are actually two freedoms to live into. There's that temporal freedom here in this nation, and then there's that eternal freedom uh, in the kingdom. 
And again, uh, that cannot be abdicated to churches and schools. I encourage dads and moms to uh, be uh, step into that role as primary educators of our children to teach responsibility for freedom uh, in Christ and in this nation. Uh, so uh, again, the challenge is for dads is to live into and teach uh, responsibility for freedom in Christ and in this nation. That's the dad you're called to be, and that's the dad the next generation needs. God bless, God speak.